we're Chris and Teresa, and we would love to guide you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill and online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and have renovated a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and sustainable agriculture are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things from farm to needle. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 227. The last one of 2023. Mm -hmm. And we're just getting over um, recovering. Well, Teresa, poor Teresa, still is without power, but we had a huge ice storm. Um, on Christmas, it, it started here on Christmas Day, and we've been without power since then. Last night it came on in yep, Nome. here in Nome at 9.36 it came on, and um, Teresa still is without power. Yes. But you have a, a generator. Yeah, we have a generator, so, so uh, we're able well. to mm -hmm. heat the home. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're very thankful for electricity. Oh, yeah. Oh, and linemen that... Go out there in the horrible yeah, weather. Yeah, it's a record-breaking event here. Unprecedented. Where there's like 600 power poles, poles broken. Yeah. I'm there sure was, more than that because that's just Cass 4, County. 4,800 people were Electric. without power just in between Otter Tail Power and Cass County. That's a lot. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, and they're still working on it. They've been working on it <sighs> since Christmas Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, huge yeah. ice, an inch of ice on the line, inch. I mean, oof. So, it broke off so trees many. and things. So if you watch our uh, YouTube shorts that mm -hmm. uh, Chris has been doing, you can see some of the damage to just, our trees just, here at the just school. Just in our schoolyard that are just, oh, yeah. That yeah, yes. took me 45 minutes to get the ice off my vehicle to come here today. It was just oof. encased in it. Oof it's ridiculous. Oof -da, oof -da. Yeah, so we're just going to do a few highlights from 2023 that uh, just looking back, uh, we wanted to, um, you know, think about and uh, remember. Touch on. Yeah, so in January we had, so last year, I mean, we're making North Dakota look bad here, but last year there was a lot of snow here in North Dakota, which it was record amounts, which is not normal. Uh, and so we had a lot of cancellations uh, mm -hmm. which we had to give everybody's money back <laughs> for all of our events and things yeah. uh, throughout January. Uh, we also had Rock Day, which is the first Saturday in January, mm -hmm. which was um, where it was a bunch of spinning and show and tell. And We had fun. a wonderful time. My, grand, my four-year-old grandbaby took to spinning like she, I couldn't she believe she was able to pedal, and I helped her with her drawing. Oh, or drafting it was yeah pretty cool it was fun yeah, it was fun to be a fun. part of and we're doing that again this year yes uh, so and come come and yes. join us uh i also made a polar bear i had made a polar bear tree topper for my tree and i mm -hmm. um took it off the tree and made it into a standing polar bear and then it had three babies so of course i did that in january if you want more uh on that you should Go back and check our check our out. weekly YouTubes. Yeah. So in February uh, we had Jean Hainland's retreat, and those are always filled up. Yes, she She's does the two D flat, flat mm -hmm. yeah two D flat. She's okay. an excellent teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, this was an extra special retreat. I there was twelve people here, and they were all excited to share their experience with me on video and just listen to them. Cool. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, they all connected so amazingly and they didn't want to leave yeah. um, and we had giving hearts day in february which giving hearts day. we'll be having giving hearts day again that's when um we the the one time a year that we fundraise for our nonprofit, the nome university and it's in uh, north dakota minnesota um kind of a local uh, fundraising day and um but yeah, anybody can donate anyone can days. donate from i mean we had folks that randomly donated from south carolina and just all over and it, it, we were and this goes to so, our nonprofit, the university that is focusing on helping it helping us make it affordable for classes uh for age groups home, school, uh, home groups. school groups to come and get a tour of the mill and experience the like the 
sheep to finish product yeah. experience that we had always dreamed of. Uh, mm -hmm. To shut down the mill, it costs us uh, money. So uh, we have to charge quite a bit. So the university is looking at making that easier. Um, more affordable for these groups. Because mm -hmm. a lot of these poor students don't quite grasp that wool still grows on a sheep. <laughs> still. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, so a it's, lot it's, of education we like to provide to them. Right, and we have been groups. really working on that in the university and to making that better, mm -hmm. to making hands on project, you know, hands on experience for them uh, before they even go into the mill and see what's mm -hmm. going on in there. So, we're working on that. We're also, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's a lot. 2024 is going to be, the, for our nonprofit, is going to be pretty, pretty spectacular. Yeah, so I think so. And tuned. we have Giving Hearts Day coming up here again in February. Yeah, so please, if you can support us, please. Yeah, we also have opportunities oh. for matching funds. So if you want to mm -hmm. give ahead of time, uh, they, they can go towards matching funds for anybody that donates on Giving Hearts Day, right. uh, which is in February. Yes. And then, of course, we had a little more snow. Which, you know, so much snow last so much year snow. and cancellations. Yeah. Uh, one of the highlights of February was the uh, FCS retreat. Oh, it was the first amazing. ever here that we had, and it we, home ec, home ec for you know, us older folks. <laughs> yeah. Home ec teachers were here, so fax, fax teachers, teachers now, yeah. and yeah, it was and, a retreat for them to come and learn more, mm -hmm. uh, what how they, you know what they can bring back to their classrooms. Mm -hmm. And it was we did it through um, uh, several from NDSU mm -hmm. uh, that organized it. And it was amazing. They, they learned so many different things that uh, we put together uh, mm -hmm. an entire weekend uh, along with... Um, yeah, and I can't remember how many CE credits they ended up at the end of the weekend. And they said their usual things like this are kind of boring. <laughs> They like go to a fun. hotel and they sit in a conference hall and get lectured to for, you know, hours on end. But here we had them felting and spinning and needle felting. They and were all super sorts excited. It was pretty cool. It was. You they know, had recently, twenty-two sewing machines in yes. the gym, and they uh, Sarah led them in mm -hmm. a project in there, which was exciting to see that they could a, a simple project that they could bring back to their students and mm -hmm. and they were excited with what we had taught them and yes. We're bringing that back to their classroom, oh and my so goodness, this year we're doing. I don't. Know, we've done kits, yes, actual no. classroom kits. We're going to have available to them because that's what they did afterwards. They were making their own teacher kits, and so we're going to have that pre-made for them this year. Yeah, yeah, we're learning um, right along, you know, with yeah. them on what they yeah. need and what how we can help them so. and how we can provide that to you know, fax teachers across the nation that can't come to something like this. We can provide this type of educational programming and curriculum to them that they can offer in their classrooms there. So this yeah. is just growing. So, and if you're interested, I mean, this was with, um, we worked with NDSU. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's any other colleges or anything out there that, you know, is interested in working with us, we would love to have you come. Yeah. Have your retreats here at the Gnome School House. That would be yeah. amazing. And they... And we got, you know, like months after that, we got handwritten letters from some of these teachers that they took what they learned back to the classroom and their their students were just enthralled and, and loved every minute of the teaching that, that they provided, that they had learned here on Sunday at the schoolhouse. So. Yeah, and they're coming back mm -hmm. this February and we're teaching them different things. So yes. even the same teachers can come back and we will... Yeah. A, little, um, a little different... Changing spin it up on a little some, bit on the on the fiber. So yeah. pretty cool. In March we have basket weaving. We have lots of basket weaving, and, and they always, they always sell, sell out. out and mm -hmm. it's an amazing experience for everybody. And the polar bear kit. Yes, the polar dun, bear dun, kit dun. made its debut after I made mm -hmm. uh, Mama polar bear and her three babies. I decided to make a kit. It's uh, an advanced needle felting kit, but everything is included mm -hmm. in that kit, and you can purchase that at bearcreekfelting.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we had more snow. Yeah. Uh, we did, we have had several speaking opportunities mm -hmm. over the years, and but this one seemed extra special. Plus there was pictures taken of us that were amazing. <laughs> they really were, yeah. And uh, it was we, at a brewery, a local brewery in Fargo. Yeah, and it was a startup brew. So we each got to share a story. Mm -hmm. So Chris shared her story, I shared my story, and then we shared how we, um, uh, built this school and what we're doing here uh, and that was kind of exciting and mm -hmm. we're excited to have more 
um, more speaking opportunities to you know, speak to, to share what we know and, mm-hmm. and, and which we do we have several virtual amazing virtual yes we have mm-hmm. speaking but you know we are available. coming up in this year yes. yeah and we're, we're looking at traveling taking our our show on the road here so Anywho, okay, sharing. Sharing. <laughs> sharing always takes place in March right before lambing. Uh, yep. This was uh, a year of we weren't sure what we were going to get uh, mm-hmm. as the sheep had. The quality of wool, that is. Yep. Uh, if you've been following along, mm-hmm. uh, we've had salmonella in our sheep. We had a lot of disease, death. <laughs> and, yeah, it's it was an awful year the year before. And so mm-hmm. um, the wool wasn't its top uh, quality but um, we yeah. we were actually very surprised at how nice it at the was. quality yep and we always sort yep. out the bad stuff we're not sending anybody no <laughs> bad no. wool no. Uh, we sort that off for for different uses uh, yep. on the sick sheep and then I made the middle look kit uh, which is a flat 2d mm-hmm. uh, felting my very first which you the first of many yeah so check out that metal art kit at bearcreekfelting.com and watch for more more of this 2D felting kits. Yeah, and then we had an amazing gift donation to, honor bestowed upon us so that we could go get our pictures taken. Mm-hmm. It's always good to have really nice pictures for social media and for mm-hmm. your website, and so we were very blessed to have somebody donate an opportunity to go get our pictures taken. Mm-hmm. We call them glamour shots because I guess when we were younger, that was a thing. And <laughs> um, we had fans blowing on us. We had our hair done. We had fake eyelashes. It was Glued amazing. to our eyes. <laughs> Which I've never had before. So. I know. And it was, it was, it was kind, kind of, of fun. It, it was a it fun was day. It was so much fun. And we have this beautiful um, picture that came with, with the, the, the package. And it's on the mantle, above the mantle, the fireplace, mm-hmm. and I've had so many people go, so who are, ask me who those people are up there. Yeah. And I said, well, they're the owners. <laughs> and they don't recognize me. It's so sad. So, yeah. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Yep. Yeah. Anywho, yes, and on to April, the deer head. So I start, I made the deer head last Super April. Deer head. And... It has now, just recently, if you've been watching YouTube, it has been attached to a body. Mm-hmm. And it's growing legs. Right, and it has legs now. It just doesn't have hooves. I'm anxious to see It's, a, it's a slow work in progress. These hooves, they're not going to be, they're just going to be felt. Oh. Yeah. Why? Because they don't, they're too big. Oh! The other, we were trying out um, different hooves. Types. And, and they're, just they're not too big. We're just going to have to rework them. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very good. And then baby lambs. We had baby lambs. Amidst the snow, which is nice. Yeah. There, were, there was still a lot of snow at that time, mm-hmm. but we um, we had... You can't stop lambing once it, <laughs> once yeah, it comes, we, it comes. We had a good year mm-hmm. um, of lambing. We had more ewes. Um, than I've been used to. We had new lambing jugs that we had mm-hmm. ordered, which weren't the, you know, we, there was things wrong with them. If you had watched YouTube in the past, there yeah. was, we were having issues with them, which we're going to fix. It shouldn't have been, because you bought the best. Oh, I know, we thought we bought the best. It, it's just that. Yeah. Lambing pens, but there was, Shame where they could you, get out or get you are. stuck yes. getting out, and it was, oh. it was oh. a pain. And so. Jeff fixed them all. He's fixing, and he's still fixing for next year, so oh, we have he? a better experience going into lambing. So mm-hmm. very good. And our loan, we had, we had our loan was approved um, when we got our original loan from Mr. Ron Anderson, the Gnome alumni that gave us the loan. We had two years. That was the agreement to get conventional financing, and in April we were approved for that. After much, much 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 work the bull the bull incident where which is scary which was horrible because it's a very expensive bull yeah oh yeah so if you hadn't heard anything about the bull incident you might want to go back and check out our weekly youtubes where we share every detail of what's going on here uh we had the very first broom 
making class mm -hmm. at the gnome which schoolhouse, which started. Uh, what would you say? <laughs> started a obsession. Obsession <laughs> among some of us. <laughs> And yes. which led them to plant the, oh, you, you'll, yeah, you'll see. That's yeah. coming up. It's coming up. Okay. Yeah. And Shepherd's, Shepherd's Harvest was oh, in May, which yes. we always enjoy doing. Uh, we've done Shepherd's Harvest since. 2009 was the first year I went. I don't know the first year, but we did this before we were even partnered mm -hmm. as a business. So we were mm -hmm. in doing it individually. And little did we know we were in the same building. Yes. Well, I think we know. I knew. Did we know? Oh. I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> I never left well, my little Right, we could hardly so. leave our booth. I yeah. had Libby with me, so I could leave every once in a while. But you were yeah. alone, I was mostly. Like, generally alone, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we went to the Shepherd's Harvest in May, mm -hmm. and it, we had record sales. It was amazing. Yeah. And this and year we'll excited. be back there. Mother's Day weekend, Lake Elmo, Minnesota. Come and see us. Yes. It's so much fun to, to meet, to put a face to our YouTubers. That's fine. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we have most everything there that we have in our store mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Um, and you yeah, we have like three booths. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty, we got more it's bigger, cool. bigger and better plans for this year even. Yes. And yes. then in May we had, we received the Governor's Award for Travel and Tourism, which was the Trailblazer Award, which was... A, the state of North Dakota. Which was Us. a great honor. Huge uh, honor. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, also in May... We got a brand new printer uh, several years ago. Several? How many? No. Three? Three. Three years ago because we signed a three-year contract. Which is hard to believe that. And we've been wore, doing this for three years. We wore years, that printer out. We did. We, we went we above did. and beyond. We could not. We did more than that printer could handle. So we needed a bigger, better printer, which now takes up most of our office like which you know we didn't put in that into the plans when we built the school uh -oh. or added on to the but school. But we didn't think it would require a 20 some foot long printer. Right yeah. so we print all of our materials mm -hmm. for the school all of anything mm -hmm. that we do here at the school. Like this is our classes and our booklets. And as well as all of the instructions for all of the kits that go out to everybody. Uh, they're all printed on our printer here. So right here. that was a five-year contract. Yeah so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then also we in May uh, we were told that there there is no salmonella vaccine for sheep. And there is in Australia, Australia mm -hmm. but not here. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that we could do was try out the bovine salmonella vaccine, which is cattle, mm -hmm. and uh, we were to try this out on six of our mm -hmm. sheep, which we did in May. And you'll have to go back and check out. What happened with that yeah, in our weekly YouTubes because we talk about that in depth uh, of of that mm -hmm. experiment. And we also shared the llamas. We have mm -hmm. two llamas, Fred and Barney. And they were we good shared boys them in May. Year. Very were, good boys. The year before was a little bit questionable. Uh, June. <laughs> June, we signed the loan papers. Those loan papers that were approved back in April. Yeah, kind of scary, kind of good, kind of wonderful, but kind of scary. It's scary. It's a large, large payment. Anywho, yeah. uh, rotational grazing began in June. Which we is a good do thing. rotational grazing every year, but Everyone this year should do rotational grazing. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have the best soil. We have sandy soil where we live on our farm, and we are trying to improve our soil. And we have found out that through rotational grazing, we can have improve our soil so we're as well as keep your parasite the parasite uh, load goes down mm -hmm. so that if you're moving them uh, we move them every about three days uh, to the next to the next pen mm -hmm. and they don't eat the grass down to so that it's dead and also they're not eating next to the ground where the worms will come back Mm -hmm. so absolutely and we have found many yep. many 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 <laughs> many yep. many uh, benefits to rotational grazing absolutely mm -hmm. uh, and again we had more salmonella vaccine vaccinations which if you've watched any YouTubes you will see that um, it was a successful experiment so mm -hmm. then we went on to uh, vaccinate our our flock um, mm -hmm. in sections mm -hmm. and then each uh, so like the ewes or the yearlings or the weathers or the rams, we had to 
vaccinate them twice. So there's a lot of vaccinations mm -hmm. <laughs> throughout the summer. And we also, every time we vaccinated them, we checked them, um, their worm load uh, by looking at, it's the FAMACHA score, by looking at their inner eyelids to see if they are anemic. Uh, if they are very, very light in color, that means that they need dewormed. If they are very, very pink, bright pink, that they don't need dewormed. And um, when in the heat of this whole salmonella issue, they had a huge worm load because they were really, um, you know, suffering from the sickness and mm -hmm. they were more susceptible to worms. And so we did see a and huge, all, all huge improvement yeah. over this last year, which we were very excited about. Mm -hmm. We yes. had the Gnome All, all School, School Reunion. reunion. In June, the alumni were back again, and that was the first, the first event we had here at the school in 2021 was the Gnome All School Reunion yeah. prior to our grand opening either. So it was neat to welcome them back two years later. Yeah, and that, and yep. anybody that was here mm -hmm. said how much it has changed since then Correct. because it really did. We didn't even have grass, and we didn't have an elevator. We, we had so many things. We that did weren't. not have air conditioning. <laughs> I mean, there was so many things. So yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. Yeah. And then in June, I was invited to teach in Indiana a needle felting at Mark Adams School of Woodworking. And so I went and, mm -hmm. and taught there for an entire week. I'm mostly excited to see what, how they do what they do. They have week-long classes. They have weekend classes all throughout the summer. And they have five different classes at a time. Uh, and it was exciting to see how they do it in um you can see in 2024 how we're implementing those ideas. Some of the changes. So, yeah. It's pretty exciting. So July, we planted the broom corn. Yes, there was a, we, we, we planted a large section. Mariella planted a large section at her, at her place out, outside of Nome. And we planted right across from the school, which was really fun to watch it grow throughout the year. And we had folks that YouTubers would come and they'd, they'd say, where's the broom corn? I want to go see it. And they would walk across the street and see their 14 foot high broom corn. So that was it, cool. Yeah, it got very, very tall. Very tall. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if you watch YouTube. We would have seen we, yeah. all of these things we went in depth. We did. It's pretty cool. If you go back and watch. Yeah. So 4th of July, um, it's just, I don't know how to describe 4th of July because it's, we opened. It's an old-fashioned family 4th of July. We grant, we had our grand opening mm -hmm. in 2021 on the four, over the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. uh, we had always heard how Gnome had an amazing 4th of July mm -hmm. celebration, and we kind of wanted to build on that yep. and bring it back. So the yeah. following year. Yes. <laughs> We, two we, weeks before we the decided, July, we said, yeah, we're going to have a parade. And everyone said, uh-uh, no, you you're can't not. Do, you can't do, you can't do that in two weeks. And and you don't tell two dreamers <laughs> that we can't do something. So within two weeks, we got, there was 54 mm -hmm. participants in this parade, which is amazing for this area on the 4th of July. Yeah. And we had so many people come. Mm -hmm. It was, it was it very, was so very fun. rewarding. And... Yeah. We, are, we built on that again this year. Mm -hmm. I don't and know we'll how continue. many participants we had, oh, but it was, it was 78 or something. And then we gave prizes um, for the first and second place. Uh, mayors, the mayor judged. And, wow. um, and we're going to just build on that again. Yeah. So there, yeah. like in small town, North Dakota, there isn't a lot to do and go see on the 4th of July. Right. Uh, so it's fun to be able to provide that for families. Yeah. We and we got a lot of kids things, which is neat. The Little Miss Liberty, what is it? Mr. Pageant. Yeah. The, we have Miss, a little, a, a pageant. Miss Liberty, Mr. Liberty and little, <laughs> it's the cutest boy and girl pageant ever. And we always get lots of participants mm -hmm. and they get great prizes and it's super fun. So next year, Right, and we have the animals here. We mm -hmm. have some sheep, yes. and mm -hmm. I don't think we had the llamas, but we had sheep here, yep. and mm -hmm. we had a cornhole tournament, which was amazing, and we had food all day. Of course we had food, delicious yeah. food. Uh, yeah. We had, in July, we had many classes, and mm -hmm. one of them was the Inca loom weaving, mm -hmm. which was, it filled up, and... We had an Inca loom in here, but anyway. We yep. also did more 
vaccinations. So like I said, mm-hmm. each group of sheep in our flock had one vaccination and then they had another vaccination a month later. So it was a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also had a Nuno felting class, which was a very big hit. And, mm-hmm. and we and are we'll doing back. that again this July. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's more... Uh, another basket weaving class. Which, which was sold out. But they always sell out. <laughs> uh, August. The felting fixing. Okay, we. Uh, my husband or Mike Peterson usually were the ones that would fix the felter when it We've broke. shared a lot about that. Yes. Attitude. Well, mm-hmm. you know, Helen and Mariella are main felters. They took it upon themselves. It broke, and, and they just take it upon. They just fix it themselves now. So... <laughs> Which I we shared about on YouTube. Yes, and which is you can cool. see those videos yes. in the weekly YouTube. Mm-hmm. We also had a women's retreat, which they took classes from you and I, mm-hmm. where they learned about felting and they learned about. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Wet felting. Yep. It was needle felting felting from you. Wet felting from me. I also gave them a tour of the mill, and these are friends. And then I think there was one. There was there's three generations: uh, a grandma, mom, and, and and daughter. So it's really cool. They just gathered them all together and rented out the rooms and and we just fed them and and they just created the entire weekend it was pretty cool yeah so this is one Mm -hmm. of those retreats where they kind of planted Mm -hmm. themselves they got a hold of Kristen and Kristen helped them decide you know we could do this you could do that and they brought their entire group and they had an amazing weekend they did they're going to be back we also had more vaccinations in August (laughs) and we had an Angora class about uh, rabbits and spinning class yep in August that was amazing and she brought her rabbits from New Mexico was up here. She, she was did. amazing, and she's going to be back again this year. So you might want to check that out. She's doing a sheep to shawl boot camp, which is going to be amazing which because is we're going to have a sheep to shawl contest here later in the year. So watch for that. Uh, we we learned how to use the big huge loom that was donated to us, mm-hmm. which is the J loom, mm-hmm. uh, which we had to have somebody come help us put it together. And then now she came back and she taught us how to do it. So mm-hmm. we can go weave a little bit every and, once and in a while yes. when we want to. First time ever we actually we, You pumpkin. must. If you grow pumpkins, you have to, you should really go watch that Etching Pumpkins YouTube because that was really cool. Did we actually? Ex- so more basket weaving happened which in August, up. which is always fun. Mm-hmm. There was a special, a very special engagement in my family that happened in August. Uh, we had a quilt chair uh, in August mm-hmm. with Clem Music. She spoke. She mm-hmm. shared about her quilting. She's and a competition quilter. Which mm-hmm. I learned so much. I listened mm-hmm. to her speak. Uh, we had a quilt show where everybody brought quilts, and you got to see all of their amazing work. And, and she brought she, two quilts. One of them that was going uh, off to a contest, which is pretty they cool. They were amazing. Yeah, uh, things. I'm yeah. not a quilter, so it was amazing to know all of these things and learn all of these things about mm-hmm. quilting. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're having an, that again this year. So September, uh, we had the needle felting safari, which is. Uh, one of the main reasons that I wanted to build this, do this, redo this whole school uh, mm-hmm. was a place for people to come and uh, learn how to needle felt. And this was a very special needle felting safari where we had, was it nine? Nine students from across the country. Mm-hmm. They came and stayed at the Gnome School House. Yeah. And we made giraffes together. Seven days. And we not only made giraffes together, we... Um, we had canoed. We went kayaking, kayaking. canoeing, and we went um, winery. We went to a winery. We went on a trail. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, hiking! Yeah, I forgot hiking. about that. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I, it was very, very uh, wonderful experience for me. I uh, made new friends. It was cool. Every time I look at my giraffe, I think of these gals. So mm-hmm. I'm excited for the next safari. There's two safaris coming up in 2024. You'll have check to that check that out. Check that out at nomaschoolhouse.com. Yes. Uh, we, my husband, built a new working pen for our sheep. Our working pens have always been just kind of thrown together. <laughs> something just to get us by uh now we have working pens and no sheep's going to jump out of they don't even question it it's been amazing uh all throughout september was quick wedding preparations a for month to plan a wedding my son's wedding and they pull it off beautifully yeah, yeah you don't need amazing. a year to plan a wedding you just need a month like i said they got engaged in august got married october 1st <laughs> it was and it was beautiful mm-hmm. uh Broomcorn harvest. harvest. Yes, we harvested, and then 
um, what you have to do is the top of the broom corn is full of all these tiny little seeds and you take a fine tooth comb and comb off all those seeds. And those are the seeds that we are now selling online. That so you can find them grow below our broom corn. So in the um, yeah, so which is pretty cool in our description. Mm -hmm. And that was fun. And then we're using the combed broom corn we're making, of course, whisks and brooms out of it. Yeah. Oh, and, and then there's... we had a windmill donation from um, Mr. Storhoff. We thank him for that. It was an actual big working windmill. Which is laying on its side mm -hmm. out back with ice all over it right now. But it's we need going... to find decide where it's going. Yeah. Yeah, but he's also going to um, donate because it's missing some of its blades. So. Yeah. So someday when you come visit the Gnome School House, you'll see this, the bell. From the Zion Lutheran Church, which yeah. is really cool. And, and we knew that it was donated to the school. We just never had a chance to get, because it's huge and, you know, it, it was way up in the steeple. And so my hubby put it together and the goal was to get it so that it was it, it would ring, that we could ring it, that you could dong it by the time. Um, my son got married. Yeah. On and, October 1st. Yeah. Because I remember mm -hmm. that I had a I grew up in a small country church and any special event or wedding, they would ring the bell uh, after um, when they said I do. So that That's was happened. that was my dream, and it came to it wasn't like necessarily their dream, <laughs> but it was but mine, it was cool. and it, it was happened, cool. and it was beautiful, and I loved it. Yep, so. and it lives in front of the school now, and yeah. it's, it's it's a beautiful beautiful bell as well. So. Check it that out is. when you come visit us. We also had Gnome coming in September, which mm -hmm. we have every year. In September, it's the second to the last weekend, uh, which we have vendors and we yes. have educational opportunities yes. uh, that uh, along fiber arts. Mm -hmm. um, so and this is in conjunction with um, a big craft show uh, that goes on in, in Fort Ransom. Fort Ransom called Spaka. So yeah. check that out for next year. And October... First was my son's wedding. Uh, he married uh, Victoria, and mm -hmm. it was a beautiful. Uh, come came together amazingly it did. well it was in a short, gorgeous. short time. Gorgeous. It was a beautiful day. Very, very warm mm -hmm. for October first. Actually, a oh, very, very warm. Yeah, and a little bit of wind, mm -hmm. but we had it right in front of the school, it was which cool. was amazing. And there was yeah. three other weddings that month too. It was the month of weddings. Yeah. October is pretty popular mm -hmm. for weddings. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had uh, some more of the core classes, which Ju Julie and Jeannie do, which they're amazing teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be Inca loom weaving, uh, rigid heddle. Uh, Touches on all of them there. Dyeing and spinning classes. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. they, you can find them throughout 2024 as well. Mm -hmm. They are amazing teachers. Yes, yes. And broom corn classes. Rebby was here and she taught... Um, the hawk's tail broom, which was which was fun to take. We had seven participants, I believe, in that. So that was cool. And then we had this amazing sewing group and knitting group. They were all on the same weekend. There was two different sewing groups. And then there was the knitting group. Yes. Yeah, it was cool. It was awesome. <laughs> which was, was actually in November. She's skipping ahead, of course. Where, where was I? <laughs> I had my finger on it. We skipped it. Oh, I I, oh, I'm sorry. Flushing the U's. We had a Snowman Valley class in October, and then mm -hmm. we had we were flushing the U's, which many people question what that was. That's just improving their house so that there's a better conception rate. And it's a good thing. <laughs> uh, Jean Hanlon, she has a fall retreat, a spring retreat, and a fall retreat, uh, which mm -hmm. she does again in 2024, which you need to check out. Uh, there's one mm -hmm. left in the spring. Yes spring which is february and the fall is not listed yet so keep watching for that so mm-hmm yeah Cows and dresses this is so november so don't you have one you can sh i no, don't, don't have so one. okay i'll have pictures but the mm -hmm. cows and dresses just came to mind <laughs> it's so stinking cute uh, uh, and oof. the next one is hopefully going to be a scottish highlander in a dress uh, the Taste of Fiber Retreat was also in November. We have two of those every year. Mm -hmm. Julie They're coming and Jeannie, up in 2024. They teach those. Amazing. Um, broom classes, another broom class. Uh, we had... And the sewing groups that I jumped ahead. Right. And the sewing yeah. groups and knitting groups, which had a blast. We had two mm -hmm. different sewing groups and a knitting group that were all staying the at the school weekend. all the same so time, all fun. on their own. Yeah. This is nothing that we had planned ahead of time. They just scheduled it, and, and uh, which we love. Great. And they yeah. enjoyed their entire weekend. Mm -hmm. 
two uh, weddings in November, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also introduced the gnome ornament kit mm -hmm. in November. Which is fun, still available. And then in December, we did another shearing. Which is we odd, did. but that's all right. <laughs> we sheared the uh, weathers, the, mm -hmm. uh, some of the weathers that we had held over, and then we sold them. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a bunch of wool that is beautiful. Because which is good, and we fall, can hardly wait, because that's the best. Which I've brought over a few, but I need to bring over mm -hmm. more of those fleeces because they're mm -hmm. amazing. Uh, Gnome for the holidays happened in December, which is a vendor. Maker's Mark. Uh, yep, all handmade. First weekend yep. in December. And then in the Check second. Check that out for next year. Right. The second weekend in December is the Chris, uh, We're in the Christmas Mood concerts. Which, which is another thing. We have two of them, an, a, dinner the, a dinner concert as well as a dessert concert on Sunday. And it is a must-attend event. Oh. Yeah, you won't want to miss that. Oh, so good. It's an amazing. So coming up in 2024, things that we are switching up. Uh, the switching the classes to go through uh, the Gnome Schoolhouse instead mm -hmm. of the university for the classes. So if you're looking for our upcoming classes, you don't go to university.org anymore. You go to gnomeschoolhouse.com. You'll find all of our classes for mm -hmm. coming up for 2024. Uh, and the university is going more towards uh, educational tours for groups and classes. Mm -hmm. uh, this past year, we had six weddings. We had 30 classes and five multi-day retreats. Those are just the ones that we offered. We had many more ones that folks just arranged themselves. themselves. So, with, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we had 209.5 hours of instruction over 43 calendar days and over 300 participants in our classes and retreats. Yes. Yeah, so... And this year, just buckle up. We, we got a big year coming. We do, because... Yes. So last week's question and answer was, uh, what would you suggest we do for our year of creativity? So mm -hmm. we want to do a different craft every month. Uh, we, and our prize winner uh, was Tina's Workshop. You just need to contact us. Uh, BearCreekFelding.com. Uh, send us your shirt size and your address and we'll send you out a prize. And next week's question, which you can answer below in the comments uh, to begin for a prize, uh, is do you have any things that you would like to see in a kit for 2024, like a needle felting kit? I'm anxious to see how this... Like a beginner okay. needle felting kit or uh, something for the academy, yeah. any one of those, I would love to hear your ideas or your mm -hmm. thoughts or what you would like. Um, mm -hmm. Coming in 2024... Yes. So much. Already, we have 111 students signed up for classes and retreats at the Gnome School House uh, from across the country. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 40 classes and retreats scheduled, and we're scheduling more every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we are focusing, again, like I said, about more on university mm -hmm. tours for and the scholarship university. Scholarship programming. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we are also focusing in Shepherd Industries on wholesale markets, which is mm -hmm. something new to us, which we're excited to do. We're heading to a wholesale market in Chicago in May, and so we're lots of planning. Bear and Creek felting going kits, into that. wool, all sorts of stuff. Hopefully, we'll be at a craft store, yarn store near, near you. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, uh, like we said last week, um, 2024 is our year of creativity. Mm -hmm. uh, we have. Every month we're going to try a new craft, and mm -hmm. we have decided that January, we're, to start out with, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start out with embroidery. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll talk more about that next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and then um, make sure you check out our daily uh, mill updates that we are doing. And they're just short, 60 seconds or less under the shorts, on, um, right? Yep, Called on shorts YouTube. On YouTube, so you just... Make sure you like our uh, YouTube subscribe. channel, subscribe, and you can see those. And, and you're going to learn a lot. And YouTube is EWE mm -hmm. Tube. Yep. That's our channel. Yeah, so it's pretty fun. We get a little daily update on some nugget of wonderfulness that is happening down in the mill. Happy New Year!